Hey guys, we're back, and uh, today we're going to be reviewing the app called Launcher Pro. It's not the paid version, it's the free version, but still it's good, so we're going to uh, take a peek. First, I'm going to show you, in general, how to download the app. You go to the market, you type in Launcher Pro. Oh. Spelt it wrong, but um, Launcher Pro, and it'll come up with a whole bunch of uh, different apps because there's skins you can get. But we're gonna want to install the free one, and I already have it installed. But originally, you would just click right here where it says open, and it wouldn't say open; it would just say install, and then you would do that. So after you install it, you're gonna click the home button. However, it's gonna bring up two options: your regular launcher and your Launcher Pro, which is what you just downloaded. You're going to want to use by default and click Launcher Pro, so every time you click the home button, it's just taking you to Launcher Pro. Launcher Pro is a home replacement app, and it's um, very unique. It's very smooth, and it runs really fast. So um, one of the differences you might notice right off the bat is it has transitions between the home screens. So rather than just being a regular sliding transition, it's different and it looks uh, better. Um, just in general, the smooth scrolling is really nice and has this effect where you can um, bounce from the all the way left screen to the all the way right screen like I just did there and it has this um, expose feature which is um, like the HTC Sense phones where you can just pinch to zoom and then or pinch to zoom out and then it'll show you all the screens and everything it comes with um, let's go into the settings and see what it uh, does we have home screens, you can change the number of screens. This is where you can change the looping and how I made it the bounce and everything. Um, then you have, you can change the number of rows and you can make it to where your home screen has more than four icons on a row. Um, also, just in general, it has scrollable widgets, but that's for the paid version. Home screen settings, we just went through that. This is where you can change your transitions though, so if you want um you have a whole bunch. You have none, scale, rotate, all that. Cube. Cube is really uh, nice too. It just changes how uh, how you transition from screens. It makes it a uh, cube effect. Right now I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, so it doesn't really change how everything runs, but it's good. Um, okay, let's go into dock settings because this dock is very, very special. You can you can have numbers for how many messages you missed or Gmail emails you missed and everything you can change the number of docs so right now I have one but you can go all the way up to three and let's just do that it's just gonna restart the application after you do that and then it gives you these little plus icons and what you can do is you can tap one and it'll bring up certain things that you can put there so let's say I want to put a a uh, I don't know settings and let's say I want it to be my manage applications then you can choose the specific icon you want. So let's say you want a Launcher Pro icon, it'll bring these standardized ones up. Let's just do whatever, it's not a big deal. And once you click that and you've chosen your icon, it'll put it there. Then after you click that, it takes you right to the Manage Application Settings bar. So let's go Home. And these docs, they're scrollable, so you can just have whatever you want down here. There's three since I chose that. That's the maximum amount it'll let you have. And it's, uh, it's really nice, it's really smooth. And um, it's pretty good, you know, you can just have other apps over here, whatever you want. It's good. I, I usually stick with one dock, though, so. Anyways, let's go to behavior settings. This just says if you want the screen to rotate while you're on the home screen, I have that checked. It's actually rather nice. It's, it's um, it works. I mean, it keeps the transitions that you have set and everything in the dock just shifts to being vertical instead of horizontal. And it makes the actual app drawer horizontal as well, so that's nice, you know. Everything it just makes everything bigger, you know. The Nexus S has a really big screen already, so I mean, it's good in general. Let's go back to settings, and um, it keeps everything in in her uh, in landscape mode. So let's go back to here and uh, appearance. You can change the background of the actual dock itself. As you can see, I have it as as the glass setting now. But let's go ahead and do uh, Froyo wide. I know you know what Froyo looks like. Originally, it just has the I know you know what Froyo looks like. Originally it just has the 
two boxes or one big box let's say around the phone in the app drawer in the browser however this is Froyo wide and it actually has boxes around everything including the home screen uh, little buttons you have there so that's actually pretty nice and you saw the glass one as I had it set up before which is it's pretty nice you know it's just standard glass little uh, frame there looks like the iPhone but that's cool you know this is Android phone anyway let's go back to appearance and uh, we have you can hide the actual notification bar and it only works on the home screen so I mean whenever you go into an app or whatever it'll come back and you can still check it but it's pretty nice the um it allows you to have these screen indicators which I have checked now and what it does is whenever you scroll through a screen at the bottom of the screen it puts that little line there that moves so just so you know which screen you're on and it's kind of like the HTC phones how they have um different screen indicators and uh, it's nice you know it's just a little add-on that they just decided to put in there Launcher Pro does a good job with that let's go back and look at some advanced settings oh actually so um, they also have hide icon labels I don't have that checked now but let's go ahead and do that it just asks you to restart the application and once you do that it hides all of the apps labels so there's no writing or any labels on the app so it doesn't say that it's gtalk or calculator it just shows it that's maybe better for some people who have smaller screen phones that um that doesn't that that want to make their screen look bigger you know what i mean these apps right here messaging and gmail it's not an application because i have widgets I have an actual widget for that so it shows the number so that's the only reason why that's not hiding the icon label but we'll get into another video on that later um, let's go back to there and uh, there's a whole bunch of other settings you can do you know if you have a trackball you can change the highlight color whenever you highlight over an app and everything so it's nice and you can change the actual highlight styles to glow classic and outline so that's always good alright let's get into the the real stuff the themes you can change themes by downloading them at the App Store. You can see now I don't have any, but um, you can just go to the App Store and download some for Launcher Pro. And then Advanced Settings. You can have five icon rows on your home screen by just clicking that. And it makes it, it, makes it look kind of bad, but if you wanted to cram some stuff on one screen, you'd be good. Um, elastic Scrolling, that, that's pretty standard, but everyone likes Elastic Scrolling. I mean, High Quality Scrolling, it's just general stuff. Um, it allows you to use a 3D drawer, so maybe if you don't have Android 2.2 or 1 or whatever, it, you can still use a 3D drawer, which is um, it's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and check that. And what you'll see is, whenever you're using that, as you scroll up, the apps go back like a cube effect. And you can see right there, it's going back and going back. And then when you come back, it, it scrolls down like it's on a cube. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty, it's still smooth too. It works in general, and you can see everything. And and also it um it fades out like like you just saw there. Whenever you go into it, it brings everything on, and then fades fades it all out. Let's go ahead and uh, go back into advanced settings and see what else we got. Otherwise, um nothing really important. You know, number of icons per row in your uh, apps drawer that's that's something big I mean if you were really picky you could use that but um overall really good app five stars just so smooth and quick and transitions all of the things he does it's very very good and I love it it makes everything faster and it's just a good app you should go and download it from the market it's free and it provides a lot of stuff thank you